and then yeah. Destiny, who's um, going to be the next president? It's honest to God. I think it is right now in my head. It is a 50 50 toss up between Trump and Warren, I think. Okay. Dick? Warren. Uh, Trump. Trump. He's just, uh, he's too funny. <laughs> not, they don't have anyone on the the Democrats don't have anyone funny enough to take them down. Um, now the economy's killing it. Has anybody ever lost their second term when the economy's doing great? That that's what it's going to come down to because everybody keeps saying we're we're coming up on a recession. They've said it for I think like two or three years now. Um, yeah. We're getting real worried about it. If if it hits soon enough and the, and the economy goes to the shitter, people still lose their jobs. Probably more likely it's going to be a Democrat. If the economy's killing it, it's going to be real hard to, to get a Democrat in office over Trump. Yeah. Yeah. I, I wonder if Trump's like, uh, been really adept at manipulating the Fed into keeping rates insanely low to stave that off. Uh, I th he's been slow playing it for three years, trying to keep it down so the stock market keeps climbing up. I think he's been doing only that on purpose. Um, <laughs> oh, all okay. his other moves are just stumbling no. blindly but yeah. that one's calculated that's the one thing he understands uh, like i know he knows what the no fed way. rates do to the, the stock market this is the one okay this is the one political thing for that this is my one topic of the show that i'll push back on so the reason why the fed is keeping rates low is we're in this unprecedented economic era where rates have been low for so long but inflation is still low as well if inflation is still low there's no fucking reason to raise the rates that's the only reason why the fed still has the rates low now unemployment is low too but if there's no inflation you might as well keep fucking lending money at low rates that's the only reason trump doesn't have any influence on the federal reserve and, and and listening to trump talk about budget deficits and trade imbalances i don't think he even knows what the fuck the fed is or what it does or what the rates are i really don't think he does because every time he talks about it, i i think i listened to a video a few years ago of trump talking about paying off the trade deficit with our GDP or something. It was unbelievably stupid. I couldn't, I don't even know how the fuck these two numbers are supposed to relate to one another. But yeah, I, I think, I think that's it. The Fed is just, we have no inflation, so they keep pumping money. Yeah. Uh, they're known, they're known to screw up. I mean, they do. Test, they've tested <laughs> the waters a couple times for, by lifting them up slowly only to see the market immediately react um well i mean whatever i don't i don't care mm -hmm. if he's responsible for it or not but i don't i don't think you can i don't think you can dethrone him with um with um a worse version of hillary clinton uh she's she, hillary clinton is funnier than elizabeth warren and she couldn't do it yeah hillary clinton's funnier than a person <laughs> like she's the least funny person she's ranked last I, I, <laughs> she's got she's got so many people working for her though Mm. Yeah, War Warren's not funny. I don't know that that's how they win an election, but maybe you do. I don't know. When I watched some of the early debates, there were a couple Democrats where I was like, that guy, and this is bad, but like, that guy looks like a president. Somebody like Cory Booker, he talks that he looks like a president, you know, even if he isn't like polling that high. But then there are some people where you listen to him talk. So, like, not to hate on everyone's favorite candidate in the audience, depending on who you are, but like Andrew going. Yang, oh. Yang, absolutely not, absolutely not president. He's timid. He is like someone talks over him. He's quiet, puts his head down immediately. He always looks like he's a kid in trouble with something. I absolutely could never see somebody like voting on somebody like that. Um, I, I think that like stage presence, maybe, maybe I wouldn't agree. With it. It's not like comedy exactly, but I do think that some level of stage presence is really important. There are some people that are on stage talking. Um, Klobuchar is one of them, Amy Klobuchar, who are talking like, I could never, ever see you as president, you know? Um, somebody like Hillary or Warren, sure. Somebody like Bernie, even if you don't like him, he's loud, he carries himself well. Um, Buddha judge does it okay, I think. Um, Trump obviously has that stage presence for sure. Yeah, I wonder if I, I, I see in the future, maybe not this term, mm -hmm. stage presence like you're talking about falling back a bit in importance and long form taking over. You know, how well you can do long the, form, yeah, like the JRE podcast, right? Like that's that introduced Mediang. Now, more people are going to see these debates than JRE's podcast in 2020. But roll out to 2024, 2028, and mm -hmm. people will be able to put themselves out there in long form, and, and you'll see how they how they do. I, you'll get to know the candidates better than mm -hmm. the bullshit debate, the two minute like, debate, yeah, two minutes clips, or even yeah. the thirty second rebuttals and stuff like yeah. that. Yeah, that's not. How would going you fix be... the Middle East? Ninety yeah. seconds and right? then a twenty second rebuttal. Yeah, like okay. right, right. And people are just going to take that format and, and debate it for two ditch months. it and listen to what they say on PKA instead. Mm-hmm.
I think yeah. you're underestimating how much pleasure people derive from immediately reacting to things and then having a new thing to immediately react to. Like yeah. with Trump, you you love him, hilarious, awesome, and he gives you something new and hilarious every day. And That's if you hate what him, I think. Give you something to piss off, something to get. Dude, all off caps at. tweeting, so funny. From, from the, the president. president. Yeah, God from the president. It. All caps tweeting. Can you imagine? It's, it's like peak boomer to be doing like multiple exclamation, exclamation points. Oh, it's, it's, it's funny because I – multiple exclamation points is, is bad, huh? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Stupid boomers. Yeah. You guys said – I know, Dick, you want Trump. Uh, did you say who you wanted, Destiny, or are you still up in the air? I, I like Warren. I, I lean said towards her. I mean, obviously over Trump, I would lean towards Warren, yeah. She's kind of like between Bernie and a Biden, right? Yeah, she's, she's still pretty far to the left, but I mean, I think our whole political system is going pretty far to the right at this point, so I'm okay with someone a little more left. I wonder if Bernie, like Bernie bros, his big contingent of supporters are going to mm -hmm. be livid if he gets passed over again. He, Bernie has no chance. I don't know if people realize this. Um, it's it's really sad because people are looking at the uh, the polling data like to, to try to show that you know he's still 20%, 20 points. But like the reality is, is that Bernie had an entire election cycle to campaign, and then he came into this election cycle at 26, 27 points, and he's only dropped since then. He's totally stagnated. He's never had a surge. Warren has been climbing. I think she came in at like two or three, and then she got up to five or six after the debate. She's like eight or nine. She's climbed and climbed and climbed, and now she's in almost second place. I think the aggregates, I think, actually might have her at second place at this point, point. Um, and she should just keep climbing. But yeah, Bernie's just kind of been sitting there just losing steadily for the well, entire time. Well, she's going to take over first place if Biden's eyes and teeth keep falling out on TV. <laughs> yeah. Every time he opens his mouth, there's another gaffe. It's either Popcorn <laughs> Joe or some random fucking, yeah, jeez. Did, did you <laughs> see when the he gap? was talking, he's like, well, I really love America. I That's wonder what that was. Oh, man. His teeth huh. weren't falling out because he doesn't have dentures. He has replacements According to crowns him. or something. Well, he doesn't uh, have no, dentures yet, but. <laughs> I, no, no, no. I, he, he's, had, he's had a tremendous amount of dental work and he kind of gets made fun of for it. I was reading, uh, there's, there's websites devoted to Joe Biden's teeth. And they they say that they don't look very natural, so it's not dentures. That's not what it is. So his teeth weren't falling out, but something was happening. He lost control of his tongue. That was he trying to like retrieve gum before he spit it out. I don't know, but a thing happened. That's even losing control of your tongue is is worse than your dentures falling out. I'm not defending him. I'm just saying it's not dentures. Huh? No. No, it's funnier to believe it was dentures. Hey, losing control of your <laughs> tongue. Isn't that some shit you do when you're sleeping that makes you choke and die? That sounds like a serious thing. No? Can, yeah. Don't you choke on your tongue Maybe. sometimes if you get yeah, knocked if you have out a seizure. or something? Or so, yeah. Maybe you was know, It'd be funny if like Yang went over and put a wallet in his mouth. <laughs> 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 uh, Yang is hey, going real hard on that. Yeah. When, when <laughs> Yang said, oh God, I, I would become a full-on Yang, so I'd max out like my Yang. FEC contribution. Uh, I hate him. But when he when he said he was going to do an unprecedented thing on stage, I was waiting for the, okay, everybody, no one in the history of candidates has ever done this. Everybody, look under your chairs. <laughs> <laughs> you get a grand. Your friend. You get a grand. You get a grand. <laughs> Oh, I had to give him a mad so promise. <laughs> so much cheering in that audience. Break. It would have been funny if he opened the debate with that. That was the first thing he said. Because now, if you're every other candidate, man, how fucked are you? Like, oh, <laughs> shit. Like, yeah. You're like <laughs> setting the meta for the next debate. Like, what are they going to give away at the next one, right? You're not going to show <laughs> right? up empty handed, you know? And then now, all, all, the other, all the other candidates check under your podiums. And they've got $1,000 too, and it makes them look dumb. <laughs> Biden's talking about he can get more polydent. <laughs> Bernie counters it. Everyone has a health insurance card under their chairs next uh -huh. debate. Jesus. <laughs> I love that, Destiny, if you're right, that means Trump is going to beat the first woman president twice. That'll be... <laughs> that would, oh, that would be the, the narrative. Yeah. I mean, I, I, you could die happy. He's like, yeah, that's what I did. That's my legacy. I stopped the first what woman a, president twice. <laughs> what, a, what a flawless American narrative, too. And it's got to be real shit. Because, you know, like, every minority group has their own struggles or whatever, you know? And you've got women and you've got black people and, you know... Gamers. I, I just... I can't... Gamers. Yeah, gamers. I can't imagine being a woman and you're like, you know, we got the first black president of the United States. And then we had two female presidents stopped by Mr. Grab'em by the Pussy. Hmm. Stopped by Biff really? Cannon. 
really makes me wonder. Dude, Warren's got a better chance than Hillary did because Absolutely. even most women were like, oh, yeah. she sucks. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Nobody, like, I've, I've never met someone who was like, rah, rah, shish, boom, ba about Hillary. Like, it's yeah. always, it was more, even at the time, it was more like, yeah, you know, well, oh, God. I feel I that way about Bernie, Biden. Or I wanted this. Yeah, Biden, mm -hmm. he was just kind of Mr. Whatever. Who's like, enthusiastic you know? about Biden? Who is like, dude, if Biden well, gets in, oh, my, my whole world. All the people that, like, well, no, it's everybody that's not on the Internet, unfortunately, right? We don't see them, but Biden has a lot of support among moderate Democrats. All the people that liked uh, Obama love Biden. And I mean, there's still like a sizable portion of the Democrat base. Yeah. I, I see it differently. But you'll never I see him wrong, online. But I, I see, hey, we want a guy who can beat Trump. Biden's mm -hmm. winning, therefore we're voting for the winner. And the only reason Biden is winning is because he's winning. And if that gets taken away from him, it collapses. A lot of people, like we spend so much time on the internet. When you step outside of like the very small, like internet political service, you talk to people in real life, like a lot of people re don't realize that in America, 98% of its people still think that socialism means like taking people to fucking death camps and killing them. Like that's the only thing they think of, you know, yeah. and people like Bernie Sanders and, and even Elizabeth Warren, that's some real scary shit. When you start talking about taking away all private health insurance for a socialist Medicare program and, and all like, that's really radical. You know, if you spend a lot of time on Twitter, you might think, oh, like it, there are kids on Twitter that think we're fucking, you know, two weeks away from the socialist revolution. OK, they got their hammer and sickle <laughs> book. They got they've been saving up mom and dad's allowance for the past, you know, six months and they're ready to go buy their first 20, 20, whatever handgun. They're, they're ready to go. Um, but they're not. It's not like most people fucking hate that shit in America. Even Democrats, most people fucking hate that shit. Most Democrats are yeah. moderate or conservative. And a lot of people online totally miss it. You can see the Democrats like even counter signaling people like Bernie and to a lesser extent, Warren, where like a moderate Democrat will. I mean, you can see it on fucking CNN, MSNBC, all the mainstream, more left leaning mm -hmm. media. They don't like Bernie at all. They try to ignore him like they try <laughs> and push him to the side. They want Biden. They want basic bitch Biden or just as basic bitch Kamala. And Kamala has zero chance because she's like all the people she's trying to get to vote for. She's they're like, do you know that she sent kids to jail for missing class? And she's like, oh, uh, no. -uh. And they're like, yeah, yeah, you did. And there's no coming back from that. She's fucked. Is she even in it anymore? Kamala? Um, she's still there, but she yeah. she got a lot of momentum after the first debate, and she lost all of it, and she's pretty much back to the yeah. non-contenders. I've been I hearing like him Tulsi, talk about... She seems more like a mind-your-business, stay-out-of-the-Middle-East person, but I haven't seen anything about her. She has zero chance. All I know about Tulsi is that she was definitely in the military. Because every fucking time she answers a question, it feels like 9-11 like shit or whatever. Like, by the way... does that, too. And yeah. top three of the Democratic candidates that you would want to fuck. She comes in first. Definitely. Speak for yourself. I, I it was so painful after the uh, after the debates <laughs> when, when everybody in the mainstream media, um, you'd see a lot of these people like, wow, for some reason, the, the Google searches for Tulsi are off the charts and we don't know why. She must be, <laughs> a lot of people must be looking up her policy yeah. positions. <laughs> and I'm like, I'm really uh, looking up positions, all right. That's yeah. when you go yeah. to Big and look for nudes. Yeah, but uh, she like I do like how some of them like I think it was uh, Alexandra Cortez who started like the I'm going on Periscope Live while I make craft mac and cheese and then like the establishment old ass Dems were like this is how you reach the kids and you no, have like no. uh, Elizabeth Warren, Warren with her beer being, like beer. hey yeah. husband bring me a beer. We like to do this sometimes. I'm, I'm Canadian in this example for some reason, but we like Jesus. beers. And yeah, it's just, oh, it's embarrassing. It was, it was so bad because it was so yeah. real. It's like, yeah, that is how you probably ask. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, AOC was I like, believe it. hey, be genuine. If you're not, then you're gonna get you're gonna get flamed. Everyone's gonna see it. You know, so, so if you go on online and do a live stream and it's not who you're not acting like yourself, then everyone uh -huh. sees right through that. I thought you were. You see, like Beto O'Rourke like cooking burgers. <laughs> it was it, like oh, oh, so so cringe. It was oh. it, during the Senate run. Beto was killing it on the live streams and the social media, and he always had these quotable moments. He put the burger on like an English muffin, it, maybe so. But it, uh, then Ted Cruz went out there and tried to to do what Beto can do, which is like appeal through social media. 
He's fucking everything up. He's, he can't get out of profile mode, and suddenly he's on sideways on his live stream. And it was clear that he he just that wasn't who he is. Yeah, but, uh, but he won. It, it's all so uncomfortable. Like to at least like get, got to give respect to AOC for that. Is that she actually did it in her kitchen, just kind of leaning her phone up and like, you know, like who knows? You're giving credit to a woman being on Instagram cooking food. Taylor, that's a new low. Happy fall, y'all. They, they come out of the <laughs> oh, room doing She that. found the pumpkin. She got another one. Yeah. <laughs> that's in my fucking house right now. Oh, I'm a bitch. <laughs>